do a short tutorial on how to place these Petzl Long Life bolts. They're a nail-in bolt, which is a little unique. The bolt is a very simple design. There's basically one integrated piece, which is a hanger and the bolt. Uh, they're press fit together, and there's the pin for expanding the bolt. It's entirely made of stainless steel, so it uh, doesn't have problems with corrosion. These bolts are very popular and a good choice for use in harder rock, like granite or metamorphic rock. Uh, they can also work well in harder limestone, but they're typically a poor choice in softer rock like soft limestone or sandstone uh, because it's a little hard to judge the expansion and how good a quality placement it is. These bolts have a 12 millimeter diameter, uh, so it requires a 12 millimeter drill bit, SDS bit, to make the proper size hole. You don't want to use a half inch drill bit, which generates a 12.7 millimeter hole. A larger hole won't, this won't expand and won't achieve the proper strength. Some of the benefits of a Petzl Long Life bolt are good corrosion resistance due to being stainless steel, again good strength in hard rock, and they're also very good for theft prevention, so there, there are issues in some areas with people stealing hangers off of uh, uh, wedge bolts or sleeve bolts. Uh, once this is driven into the rock, it cannot be easily removed, so a uh, good choice for areas where theft is an issue. Some of the downsides of this style of bolt, it has a fairly shallow embedded depth, so again in softer rock it's not pulling on as much of the rock, so it's, it can be weaker if the rock isn't strong. Also it's hard to judge the quality of placements. Um, because you drive this in, you don't have the feedback you get when you use a wrench to tighten a nut. So before placing a bolt, you want to look for an area of rock that's free of any defects, any cracks or fractures or loose surfaces. And if there's any looseness on the surface, you want to clean it off with a hammer and sort of dress the surface so you have a nice flat uh, place for the hanger to lie against the rock. In order to test the quality of the rock, you want to hit the rock with a hammer. You want to avoid any areas where there's a hollow or thudding type of noise. You're looking for a high-pitched ringing noise that tells you that the rock quality is solid. To drill the hole, you want to use an SDS uh, rotary hammer and uh, again a 12 millimeter diameter drill bit. To drill the hole, you want to drill perpendicular to the rock surface so that the bolt goes straight in and the hanger lies flat against the surface. And you want to over drill the hole slightly, so for this Petzl Long Life bolt, Drilling down to the red mark here on the drill bit is uh, a little deeper than the length of the bolt. Once the hole's been drilled, you want to use a combination of a blow tube and a nylon brush to thoroughly clean the hole with any rock flour. Begin by blowing out uh, any rock flour that's in the hole. and then scrub it thoroughly with a nylon brush. And you want to do at least three or four cycles of blowing and brushing the hole to get it nice and clean. So you want to go ahead and set the bolt in the hole and then tap it in. Make sure to orient the hanger in the direction of pull, the expected direction of pull. Then take the stainless steel pin and hammer it into the hole. You want to keep hammering until the pin is uh, set flush with the button head part of the bolt and it should uh, flatten that pin a little bit. There's a properly set Petzl Long Life bolt.